Well, buildings like the Eagles Lodge in Chinook have become havens for volunteers to meet and gather supplies when natural disasters like fires break out. MTN's Keeley Van Middendorp has more from one group helping out near the East Fork fire burning south of Haver. Volunteers say the Eagles Lodge was filled with community members wanting to help crews out on the fire line last week after the East Fork fire grew so quickly. Blaine County MSU Extension agent Kendra Selstead started gathering items at her home. They moved to the lodge when more space was needed. Donations started flooding in, safety glasses and, you know, chapstick and sunscreen and more sandwich stuff. Volunteers packaged and delivered firefighter relief packs filled with essentials and supplies like travel sized deodorant, <laughs> toothpaste and mouthwash. Organizers say not every volunteer can be out on the fire lines battling the blaze, but can help in other ways. I'm not a firefighter. I don't ride horses. I don't have a horse trailer. Um, this was what I felt that I could do um, to help. And there were so many people that just came in and would bring things and then they would stay and help. Along with sandwiches, volunteers made soups and casseroles for firefighters during the week and froze a number of meals to give to crews when the fight is over. This, this is just like what you do in rural America, in small town Montana. I mean, when you see a need, you just help people, whether you know them or not. Both Selstead and Langford say they now have a head start should the fire flare back up again over the weekend, but plan to donate leftover perishables to local food banks, daycares, and other Montana fires burning around the state. Reporting in Chinook, Keeley Van Middendorp, MTN News. Selstad says those wanting to donate to those recovery efforts can do so at CHS Big Sky, North 40, or the North Central Montana Stock Growers Association. All proceeds will go directly to help local landowners who lost land and fencing in the fire.